I'm Suzanne Verdi and I joined Midlands Today in 2001. Good evening and welcome to Midlands Today at the start of a new era for the programme. It was a real honour and a privilege to present the news in an area where you've grown up. I'll never forget the time when I tried my hand at ballroom dancing. It was all for a good cause, children in need. But boy, did my feet kill. In fact, they were so painful, I had to wear my slippers to the studio. We were always on the lookout for the weird and the wonderful. There are millions of them, climbing, crawling, some even have a head for heights. The sawfly larvae, or Terroronis salicis, to give them their Latin name, are having a good year, a very good year. And I'm all over the baby slide, and all the droppings are plastered over the slide and everything. I'm not as shocked by the creepy crawlies as I am by Jars Latcham's outrageous hair. Our aim was to bring you all the major news stories. A female teacher was the first to be attacked, one member of staff and six children were injured with wounds to the arms, legs and neck. In 1996, few of us will forget the sheer heroism of Lisa Potts. She risked her life to protect nursery school children being attacked by a machete-wielding intruder in Wolverhampton. She was awarded the George Medal. Do you feel brave? No. <laughs> Through the 90s, indie bands from the Midlands were making their mark. The Charlatans, an ocean colour scene to name but two. But it was the tunes coming out of Brum that turned heads in 1998, when the NIA hosted the Eurovision Song Contest, won of course by Israel's Dana International. That same year, we hosted an American president. Yes, Bill Clinton popped over for a pint. Yeah, you heard it right, a pint. A barman at the canal side Malthouse pub had dared to ask the unthinkable. Shouted to him, just like jokingly. And then said, like, do you want to come in for a drink? And then like someone from Moon up said he was coming in in five minutes, like. And so the story goes, the US Secret Service broke the glass so no one could get the presidential fingerprints. For his views on immigration, Enoch Powell was probably one of the most divisive politicians in recent times. The Wolverhampton MP died in 1998. In the 1974 election, he denounced the Heath government, leaving Wolverhampton with memories which abide in the town to this day. I remember when the Midland Metro opened a year later in 1999. Could be good, should take the pressure off the trains because the trains are terrible. It's nice and easy to just get on and, and just relax. Finally, it will run through the streets of Birmingham. The tracks are being laid right now. We got stars Robbie Williams, born and bred in Stoke-on-Trent, achieved his first UK solo number one with Millennium. And in the year 2000, did we know how to party in style? Well, that's it. Birmingham has said farewell to the 20th century and heralded in the 21st. Whatever happened to that Millennium bug? You know, the one that was meant to break all our computers. My goodness me, Blimey. what a tie that was. That's some time. Better taste today, I'd like to tell you. Well, what can I tell you about working with the lovely Nick Owen? Before we went on air, he always used to tell me a joke. What do you call a judge with no fingers? Just his thumbs. <laughs> now, I know it's a bit lame. We were all really moved when Nick took his father, Bertie, back to Dunkirk where 60 years earlier, he'd been one of thousands plucked from the beaches there. Strolling in the sun, surrounded by the chatter of holidaymakers, so starkly different from last time. I can hardly find the words to express my gratitude, uh, really, to the fact that I was spared and I've had a wonderful life since. And the reason that you had to care New Year 2003 started grimly. Ambo is about uh, half a minute away now. Letitia Shakespeare and Charlene Ellis died in a hail of machine gun fire outside a party in Birmingham. They were the innocent victims in a drive-by shooting. 
There were trying times for the car industry. BMW announced it was selling Rover and thousands of people took to the streets to protest. In December 2003, the M6 toll road opened. Then the first vehicles approached, almost as if in a race to be first at the tolls. At first, it cost us two pounds to take a car on. Now, it's more than a fiver. And then, in 2004, the end of an era for us. And this is the last time from Pebble Mill. It had been the home of the programme for 33 years. We saw many familiar faces and shared some great memories. It's Alan Towers and Sue Beardsmore. And the beauty about coming to a job with a programme like Midlands today is that every day was different. I remember you actually spoke to me in the gents once. Did I? <laughs> yeah, you told me to get off your foot. Um, but anyway. <laughs> it was the start of a new chapter for us and for you. Everything was new, except Nick's jokes, of course.